Hello Animal Wars fans and welcome back to the Animal Reviews YouTube channel. I've done this before with Andalites and Hawk with Jake. We're going to look at various pictures of taxons and just decide which one we think we think of when we're reading the books. What sort of pops into our head as we're, we're going through the many Animal stories. So today we're doing taxons. There's not as much variety of designs when it comes to taxons because let's face it, they're big worm things with legs and a mouth. That's essentially what they are, but they do, there are some various designs and we're going to go through them. And the first most obvious one is the one that you see on the book covers. So like this one. This one is, it's always the one that sort of pops into my mind when I'm reading the books. Whether I think it's the best representation of them, not too sure. Because in the books they're always described as exceptionally round, bloated things that essentially they look like these gooey, slime-filled balloon things. It does have a lot of legs and a lot of pincers. I think a lot of the, the pincers are too small. It, it, I sort of got the impression that they were like a set of main pincers and then some more. The main one's been able to control little things here or there. And the eyes are on these weird stalk things. Mouth very circular, as in the books, with a lashing tongue. Now, for the flaws of this design, I think it is really good, really well designed, and quite horrific, as the taxons were meant to be. It's not the sort of thing you want to bump into on a dark night, is it? So I think it was, uh, was it Romus Kukalis that designed this? I believe it was. If it wasn't him, then it would have been David Mattingly, but I believe he did more of the sort of Photoshop morphing sort of thing, so I'm assuming it's Romus Kukalis who did this particular design, and it is spiffing, I must say, and a very worthy design. But are there better designs, or at least better representatives of what goes on in my mind when I'm thinking of taxons? So this next one is by Chris Grime. A lot more cartoonish, of course, but does it rep better represent what the taxons look like in my little mind? In a way, yes. I actually think they look more like they were described, as in these big bloated worm things with little spindly little legs, and I think it gets that across quite well. You've still got the, the red eyes, but they're not on stalks, but were they ever described as being on stalks in the books? I'm not too sure. And the mouth is on top of the head, directly on top, as described in the books, unlike the, the official artwork by Romas Kukalis. So I think this is actually a really good design. The one thing I will say about it is when you look at the invasion, the, the first graphic novel, and I'm assuming the visitor when we get that one, it's exceptionally big. Much bigger, I think, than they were described in the books. In, in that, they're like, when they're on, um, even when half their body is laying flat on the ground, they're like four metres up in the air, which I think probably a bit much, but definitely Chris Grind, I think, has got a great grip on the taxons. I think it's actually his best representation of any of the alien races, because the Hawk Bajir and the, and the Andalites have certain characteristics that I don't think are accurate. Not that they're bad designs or representations, it's all down to his interpretation. And Animorphs has always been down to people's interpretations, as the authors have stated on numerous occasions. So I think this is a brilliant design, and I really approve of it. I think they look horrid, 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 as the uh, Texans are, are meant to be. So what's next? We're moving on to fan designs. So I believe this one was made by Sa Sarifel? Sarifel. If I'm wrong, by the way, I do apologise. And by the way, the artist... The fan artwork will be linked in the description for this video, so if you want to go see the art for yourselves, click on those links in the description. This one is a very well drawn one, and the eyes are, I think, pretty damn good. I, I like how they've done the eyes on this one. Very much more insectoid, like a, a different shape. The mouth, uh, it's quite a small mouth. I don't know what it's carrying. It looks like a plutonium rod or something. It's uh, it's cuter than other taxon designs I've seen. This one actually looks like you can sort of say, ah, oh, it doesn't look terribly ugly. It's got a lot of legs. It looks quite round. 
and I think it's, it's a really nice design. The next one, this one's by Monster Man on DeviantArt and it's, it's very similar to, in fact it's sort of halfway between the official design and the Chris Grind one where you've got the eyes that aren't really on stalks, the mouth directly on top of the head and it's got legs and a body much like that on the Romus Kukalis design so it's a nice sort of in the middle one this one. Great job by Monster Man and it looks suitably hideous as the Texans are meant to be so nice one San. The next one, I don't, I couldn't actually find the name of the artist for this one. If I do find it, I will put it on the description. But this one looks suitably terrifying. I like the way the body is more segmented. I really do. It's quite a thin body with very large legs. And the pincers are definitely one of the more interesting aspects of this. And in fact, I really like those pincer designs where they're coming over each other and all that sort of stuff. And the head. The head is very, very nice. I like what they've done with the mouth, almost like their individual mandibles at the top there with the teeth on top of the mandibles. And then these big globular eyes. Colour scheme is very nice as well. So that's a brilliant design, that one. And the next one is done by the World of Eret. The World of Eret, I believe. This one is horrific. And I'm not talking in a, an art sense, I'm talking in look at the design of this thing. It looks very, very insectoid. Probably the most insectoid one we have so far. Very much a segmented body. I like the use of colours and the blues and the purples. And you can see it's almost got like sh shield, uh, on the, shield bits on the segments, like exoskeleton. And then between that you've got these gooey bits, which I think is a nice touch. And yeah, the head is just hideous. And then... As I mentioned at the start one, uh, at the f for the first one, I can't bloody speak today. I always thought they had like a larger set of pincers for doing all the main control stuff. And this one seems to have that. It's got these massive, m larger, more prominent pincers near the top of its body. That's a brilliant design. I, I really like that one. And the next one is done by my good pal, Jeremy Boltz or Raptor. I've done a video or two with him and I plan to do more in the near future. He does the more realistic ones. Do you remember the Hawk Bajir one where you had that one near the end of the video, the really lifelike one? But it was a, it was a, definitely his interpretation of it, and much is the same for this Taxon one here. Not what I'd partic I'd usually see when I think of the Taxons, but the effort that's gone into this design and the imagination that's gone with it, and the sure the 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 horror that you get when you look at this thing. This is amazing. He always does brilliant work with these things. I didn't do his Andalite one. I didn't find that when I was doing the Andalite episode, but he's done one of them as well. And that one as well looks, uh, it, don't, it doesn't look as adorable as the Andalites are put across in the series, but he does brilliant work with these. And this is another example. So we've got the mandibles at the side, which aren't described in the books, but I think is a nice, a really nice touch. And that big gaping mouth with the teeth, it's got the eyes around the top of its head. That's pretty awesome. So those are the designs. Which one do I think is closest to how I see them? Probably actually the Chris Grine one. That one, the cartoon one. I think it's just got all the little traits of the taxon right. It looks hideous, but it also looks a bit fragile, like it could just explode at the slightest touch, which taxons do. And yeah, it just looks suitably horrifying. But before I go, I'm going to leave you with one of the most interesting Taxon designs that I've seen, and it is the Kirby Taxon. Yeah, Kirby Taxon. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just a Kirby. And uh, that's, that's fascinating. I, I like it. Taxon and Kirby, surprisingly similar sorts of beings, don't you think? But Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And that was done by... I can't see the name, but... I'll post a link to where I found this picture, so you can go look for yourselves. So those are the tax and designs. Which one is closer to how you think they are in the books? Which one, which design do you like the best? Do you have any other designs that you think I should have brought up here? Please do tell me or show me or whatever. Come along to the Anos Discord for a bit of discussion. Please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and all that. I do loads of Animorphs videos. I hope you've enjoyed this one today. Maybe I'll do Yerks in the future, but the only problem I see with that is that there's very little room for manoeuvre when it comes to using your imagination on the Yerks. They're quite literally 
slugs. <laughs> so, who knows, maybe in the future, or maybe some other aliens that, like the Chi or the Lyrans or something like that. Any suggestions, please pop them in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a good day. Ta-ra!